Hello all, welcome to our channel SOS Berlin. Here we explain the handling of our GS7 product. Today's topic is how to install the GS7 jock cockpit on premises using the graphical installer. Let's get start. Make sure the Java and MySQL should be installed on the server. Create one database with the full privileges. Download the installer file J7 Jog Cockpit from the description URL. Extract the downloaded archive to the C temp directory. Move inside the extracted folder as we required the database. So first we will create a new database. Open the MySQL command line and type the root password. I will create new user and database for the jock cockpit installation. First execute the command to create the database. Here I am using GS7 as the database name with the character code UTF-8. Create a new user to access the database. I am using J7 as a user and password as a J7. Hit the command to create a new user. Plant all the privileges on database J7 to the user J7. With this, we have execute all the insert and update command into the database. Flush the privileges to make the changes immediately. Exit from the MySQL window. From the CTEM directory, click on the setup.cmd. A dialog box will appear. Select the language and click on OK button. The welcome window will appear for the jock cockpit installation. Click on next. License page will appear to select the G7 commercial license. If you have license key, otherwise select the GNU GPL V3.0 license. It is open source and click on next. The license agreement window will appear. Read the agreement and Accept the agreement to enable the next option to continue the installation of Jock Cockpit. Click on Next. This window shows the installation path for the G7 Jock Cockpit. Add the Jetty port and the service port for the Jock Cockpit and make sure Jetty port and service port is available and not in use by the another process. the checkbox start jetty after the installation to start the services after the successful installation the default path for the jetty base and log directory are used click on next the jock cockpit can be installed in a cluster if a jock cockpit is installed as a cluster then it is required to provide a title you can use any title as per your requirement. Select the security level for signing mechanism. The low mechanism is easy to use as it does not require any user interaction for signing operation to be performed. Medium mechanism is similar to low signing mechanism except that the fact the private key stored with the current user profile is used for signing of configuration object. The high mechanism is the highest security level and require any configuration object to be exported and to be signed individually outside of the jock cockpit. Click on next. After selecting the security level, you need to add the database configuration directly or via the Hibernate file. You can pass the Hibernate file using the browse button. use h2 abandoned for the evaluation only 
here I am using directly option and using the database MySQL. Choose the option DB tables are created or updated during the installation as with this every time when the installation or upgrade is performed the table are updated. Click on next. Add the database configuration detail. Post, user, port, database name and the password as we have created a database on our local system I am using localhost and at the start of the video we have created a database name js7 with the user js7 I am using password for my user after the configuration of database Click on next. The JDBC configuration window will appear. Here I am using the existing JDBC driver which is available with the installation. You can use any JDBC driver using the browse option. Click on next. The progress bar will display for the first part of the installation. Once it is completed, click on next. With the next processing window, you can view the second part of the installation. Once it is completed, click on next. In the processing window, you can see the installation logs, data directory for the job cockpit. you click on the next you can see the installation summary for the job cockpit here our installation for the j7 job cockpit on premises completed successfully please comment for any question thank you for watching our video